Smokey and I are working on some cold therapy right Ooh. here. It's got a little chill to it. Us California boys aren't used to this uh, Columbus, Ohio weather. It's, and it's, it's like 30 degrees, basically. Yeah. Which is uh, like heaven when you live here. But we're a bunch of pussies. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty, uh, pretty chilly. Head for some coffee and then heading into Rogue Fitness. Finally got an Uber driver with some good taste. Got some Metallica cranking in here. <laughs> Heading over Rogue Fitness on the train. Got some superset work going on here, doing some squats. I'm gonna go over there and do some curls as I haven't even started yet. And then I'm benching over there. The gym's pretty big, so it takes a second to get around. But this belt squat's feeling really good. Liking it a lot. Rogue uh, belt squat going here. Trying to get some really good range of motion on these. Travel and everything gets stiff and tight. So I want everything to feel good for today. Dipping your balls on the ground. Dip your balls in. Let some pressure build up down there. Really stretch. Training gym, West Side Barbell, Rogue Fitness. Roy's gonna get in some curls. Ooh, they just have those dumbbells up. What do we got here? 70s. Holy mother. That's a hell of a way to start out your day. Let's do one arm at a time here.
Make it through that one or two more times and I'll be done. Doesn't matter what gym this guy's in, he's always gonna cheat. Look at the gear he's throwing on, throwing on a belt. Here we go, Smoke. Let's get it now, come on. There we go. There we go. Yep. One week out. Smooth reps. Mixing those squats and curls at the same time. Get that anabolic response, build up the testosterone with the squats. Then you hit the curls and your arms grow <coughs> like crazy. Woo! Just uh, figured out something I'm out about myself over there on those squats. I rested in the bottom position for a while, just kind of hanging out down there, and that actually felt really good. I felt like I was stretching my ankles and my calves and stuff. And I was doing the squats on my toes, which that felt pretty good too. But man, I was really weak, so. I squatted down. I did a few where I was just I was sitting way down in here, like this, and the weight was pulling my hips down even a little bit lower, so it felt pretty good. All of this feels pretty good to kind of hang in here. And even coming back up didn't feel bad. But what felt bad was was like kind of in between. So I went to squat down just to see what I could hold, and I went like this. And I like I couldn't like go lower, so then I went, forced myself to go lower, and then I tried to push. And right here, it just feels like I'm gonna fall almost. Like I don't have hardly any power there. Point is, is it doesn't matter how long you're training, you can always find a weak link somewhere. So I think it makes sense. I mean, I do a lot of box squats and stuff, and I don't really, I don't really go that low. I mean, who does? Who goes that low? It's pretty rare. Some Olympic lifters, right? So maybe, you know, in addition to my box squats, maybe I'll try to address that with doing something a little different. Maybe I'll sit at the bottom of the squat for a little bit, rest, and as an assistance exercise, come back up like quarter of the way, or maybe a three quarters of the way down, pause it for two count, come back up, pause it for two count there, and work on strengthening that part that's kind of bitchy on me. Here we go. Come on, last set. There you go. Nice. There you go. There you go. A little NFL combine action right there. My best is 40 reps, but that's when I was a really, a really young dude. I think I was like 19 or so. I don't know, war stories, right? No one believes me. That was just 20 reps and that was actually really hard. So there again, kind of finding a weakness. Like why not work on bringing that up? I should be able to do 30 pretty easy. Um, and I was, <laughs> I was faking it, but I was really running out of gas on that. Felt like it could work out. I'm gonna do like a sprint or two on one of these bikes. Kill myself with that. We're gonna get the fuck out of here. On this Concept 2 bike, feeling like Lance Armstrong on filling the blank. Man, it's really smooth. It's just like the rower but for your legs. Feeling it quite a bit. I'm gonna try a couple sprints here. Oh, oh that's good. Later 
that burn dissipate. matter where you go take your training with you take your diet with you do the best you can on the road if you can't stay on your diet at least get in some damn exercise strength is never weakness weakness is never strength catch y'all later it's inspiring super inspiring to come here every year and see rogue fitness uh just growing and expanding all the time you saw how big the place was when i was on the inside there this is like the employee's gym and i think there's other gyms in here and it's just uh it's freaky deaky, man. It's uh, awesome to see, though. Awesome to see them expand and continue their growth and to see fitness is growing. You know, it's like not slowing down. This gym may slow down. This gym over here may close down, but fitness is still growing. And uh, to me, that's really exciting, especially for somebody that has a company in the fitness industry. It's exciting for that. It's also exciting to me to know that people are going to continue some people continue to get uh, more and more unhealthy, but many of you and many of us will continue to thrive and continue to know the secret to life is to get in some damn exercise, especially some weightlifting. It's like a cheat code for life. That's the way I look at it. easier for the rest of us because now we have a framework that wasn't there previously because in the 80s and 90s athletes weren't transitioning well they were going into drugs they were going into bad decisions and they weren't finding positive outlets and i think social media has helped but at the same time like it also is something that i'm sure that you and myself you have to fight that constant from the man and that feed for so like don't sleep with like dude you're showing me like i'm I do the carnival again. I don't know. Like I love carbs and then like I'm not disciplined, but like watching you do it and then like I talk with you know the Matt Benson a lot and like it's just you guys are like you know you're the you're like the OG for the fat boy community at this point. Man. You know, keep up. It's, it it motivates me because I'm like, man, Mark can do it. I'm like, we're not that good. Like maybe get halfway there and be all right. You said. Just had a few awesome, just had a few awesome podcasts. A lot of fun. Uh, just finished one up with Street Bike, Street Bike Tommy. Uh, Derek Carver was before that. He was absolutely fantastic. Um, Street Bike Tommy uh, was a lot of fun, funny, um, some good like kind of comic relief. We kicked the day off with uh, JP Price. It's funny to do this podcast with these different characters, these different people much different personalities, much different upbringings, but a lot of them saying similar things about how they plan and plan things out and they write things down. Each one, you know, each person successful in their own right. Coming up next is big Julius Maddox. If you're not watching uh, Mark Bell's Power Project and that means that you have no life. And if you are following along and watch Mark Bell's Pro Power Project, then that also means that you have no life. Make sure you're tuning in. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're checking out what we have to offer um, on my podcast because we just we hit you with so much information. Uh, it's nonstop, and uh, on top of that, it's free. On top of that, we have a lot of really cool, interesting guests. Julius Maddox, for those of you who don't know who he is, he just bench pressed 775 pounds the other day without a bench shirt. You know, my best bench in competition is 854 pounds 
but uh, that was with a bench shirt, and the bench shirt helped me by quite a bit. My best bench without a bench shirt is 578, so you do the math on that. But Julius uh, hit a 775 the other day in training, and he is already the all-time world record holder in the bench press as well. So it's going to be great to podcast with him, you know, get yet another person on our show that's one of the best in the world at what they do. So fired up and excited for that. Haven't eaten all day. All I've been doing is having some snake juice, which I'll uh, maybe I'll shoot a picture or, t- or shoot a video, show you what it is. But snake juice is from the snake diet from Cole Robinson. Something I just got off of Amazon, which is just uh, basically some vitamins or not vitamins, but it's more like minerals. Um, and so that's what I've been kind of uh, living off of for today. It's just uh, like sodium and potassium and shit like that. Just doing a long fast today. Uh, And I still have a seminar due at like 6.30. So shit's going good. Having a good time. Twenty twenty Arnold Classic. Looks pretty desolate to me. But there is some strong man going on over here, and there's more people over here. Time that bag open. World's strongest gay right there. Pearson. Oh, this is going to be ridiculously easy. Yeah, that, uh, you might not, we, we might not really put this in the floor. They pick it up. Here we go, first row. Tim Hortons. They give you a big old thing of donuts with your sandwiches. <laughs> KFC apparently came out with a donut fried chicken sandwich. This guy made it to the show. I'm trying to get rid of this ridiculousness right here, but can't seem to shake. Shake me. Oh, that was so gross. I know. Got this guy down here. Got some sea bus people in the house. My boy Smokey over there, being short, angry, gross. Huh? <laughs> Hey, how about uh, Encima's, like, seminar debut today? I know. That was rude. He came up and just snatched the uh, microphone oh, from me. He. Unbelievable. Must have been feeling confident. Yeah. All right. I loaded up on a double dinner and got a big-ass porterhouse. Got some scallops and some lobster. It's been a great day, absolutely fantastic. Just crushed a big old steak. I had a porterhouse. That bitch was amazing, absolutely terrific. Porterhouse is a New York strip and a fillet together. I got it with scallops and lobster. Man, I just absolutely made my belly about to burst. Another day of carnivore in the books. Strength is never weakness, weakness is never strength. Catch you all later.